Hi guys, this is another live on the Donna Dewberry channel, YouTube channel. And I um, love coming on here live because I have good reception compared to Facebook that's given me lots of problems. So if you're out there and you've watched me before on Facebook, um, this is a better um, platform so that you can see everything and and uh, watch demos and all kinds of other fun um, things that we have available for you. So I have a special today um, and it's going to give you, I, you know, I talked with my husband, we decided this is a great time of the year to give you some offers that will help you for the future. So um, a lot of things that are happening right now is trying to figure out a way to make money and save money. I want you to know that I'm always from having seven children and raising them, I was always trying to figure out how I could save some money, give some gifts, make some things that um, that somebody would like. You know, I've got uh, on my channel a lot of painting because it's one stroke painting with Donna Dewberry. And raising those children, I sat at home and I created paintings that I could sell. And so if you haven't ever heard my story, it's kind of fun to see over the years how I used to like hide what I do and not share because it's how I made extra income. And so now what I do is I do a lot of things for free even. So this is one that was this, this week and it's just a fun little quick blue snowman. And it's like, cold and wintry in a lot of places. So I thought this would be a great little fun project for y'all to do. And see, there's even icicles on here. So what I want you to share with me today is how you can get some education that you could do right from at home. And so the things that I want to share with you that we learn right here on my YouTube channel is like this was Wednesdays and it's relax and paint on Wednesdays. So I just this could be on a canvas actually, um, but I put it on art paper because I would have like 300 canvases right here in my house. Hi guys, thanks for coming on. New time out uh, links. You are now put people in time out for different links ranging from 10 seconds or what? Okay, I don't even know what that means. Hello, Debbie and Patty, Deanne. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, so we have Relax and Paint. It's just a short um, but relaxing little class that you can do. And then if there's things in there that I teach you, like, and I'm working with those stencils and all for the little snowflakes, and you go, I'd like to really see how she does that. And in a slower format, so it's easier for me. Well, then Fridays, every Friday, so I have over 300, I come on. And I show you practice strokes. So if you just want to try to do, let me try to do this petal for this flower. Or if I want to do those leaves, I can go on there and look for leaves. And if I wanted to do a bow, I come on there. This was last week. So you do a script liner. You do these practices here with me. So I go from script liner to a little bit loopy to two colors on the brush to make it even nicer. So I want you to see. Um, thank you. I love um, I love to share with you guys and I'm passionate about it. And I feel like God blessed me that I was able to have all those children and learn to create something at my house. And so I know there's lots of you out there that are caregivers or um, everybody please like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you put your thumbs up up there, I don't, I don't, they, they can probably tell you how to do that. Then it tells YouTube that you like my channel and they'll share it more. So that really helps. I appreciate it. Um, so from painting flowers, this has some paste. I use different product that I share how fun it is to use that you can go get your at your local stores even. And then I show you my stencils. I create stencils. So you can do that real detailed bumblebees without having a real steady hand. So there's all kinds of fun avenues for you and education with me. 
All right. So this is what we, we extended to the 20th. And this is what I want you to know, not so that you'll get it at your house by Christmas, but so that you can, there's some things that you can get right away, which are the online lessons and stuff, um, the education part. But all you do is go to my website, onestroke.com. And, oh, is that backwards? Darn it. <laughs> I just fixed it. So it wasn't backwards and I made it backwards. Okay, there we go. I think this is what y'all need to see. Tell me if that's right. Hello, Gloria. I miss you. And uh, Henriette and Kim, thanks guys for being on. So is that right now? I hope you can see that good now. So you go to woodstroke.com and you put in when you check out before you pay. All right. Because I can't fix it if you don't do it before you pay. All right. There should be a place that you put in the code, which is 91220, and you hit save. Okay. So then or it'll apply it to the order. Okay. Yes, you are good. Thank you. So it's 20% off any $50 or more order. So you can do as many of those um, orders with that 50 I mean, with that 20% off up to the 20th. So I thought that was a last minute fun little Christmas um, offer for you. But what I, what I want to share with you today, especially for anybody who doesn't know One Stroke or would like to know more about One Stroke, or if you're out there and you want more education, we need teachers. So you could get literally certified online. We have wonderful instructors that can help you do that. And I can help you grade and, and achieve what you want to achieve. There's fun ways to do it. You just take pictures. Hello, George. You take pictures and you put it on um, Messenger, and I can tell you each, or, or the other instructors can tell you each little step that will help you do better on that education route. So one thing that I have is I have um, stroke studies, and that teaches you like all the butterflies I've ever done, all kinds of other things, but that's an education uh, step, but that's maybe after you've practiced a little bit. But if you would like to learn skill builders, so skill builders, and you can get these discounts. I want you to understand skill builders helps you at home. Watch my video and we send you a notebook and it's in a plastic sleeve and you go through each step at home and you send me or send one of my teachers each one of your paintings and say, is this okay? Am I getting this right? And then we write you back and tell you all those things. So if you can't be in person, a lot of people come to Florida and I certify them here and we get, can give you a list of teachers in your area. Or if you want to be one of those teachers, this is a great way for you to start. So I, I want you to know that um, you can always call my office. Hello, Miss Holly and Joyce. Um, you can call our office and that is 352-394-7344. So maybe you can check that out later. But actually, if you go to right here on my YouTube channel about Donna, and it will tell you all that. It'll tell you how to get on our Facebook group because we have regular sales every week there and specials and things that are on the website. So come check that out. And my daughter, Amanda, does a lot of those. Skill Builders is the way to go because that's how Lucy got certified. So it's so awesome. Thanks for sharing that. <coughs> I uh, The like, oh, to do the like up there to give me thumbs up, guys, it says you have to exit out of your full screen and then click the thumbs up and then come right back. OK, so that's very nice of you to do that. So I want to share with you 20 percent off. 20 percent off is really good, guys, right now. And there's uh, there's many things that you can do that we don't have to do shipping. But if you're smart about your shipping, I, I help recently with all the orders. I've been helping my husband pack things and it's like crazy. You can across the states. We're in Florida. If you put three or four stencils inside a sleeve, you save all that shipping because it comes in a nice hard um, cardboard sleeve that holds them. But we're sending out one stencil and one of those sleeves that cost us $2 plus. It's going to cost you shipping for that. And, and so people go, I want you to think when people say the shipping was more than the item. Well, we discounted the item. So sometimes that's true. 
So when you get 20% off, you still might pay as much for the shipping. So you don't, if you get like a cluster of the paints that you wanted, people literally order one bottle and then they pay for that shipping. And I'm not saying that that's, <clears throat> that that's not smart because if you really need that one bottle. <coughs> so I want you to think, excuse me, I want you to think of, Ask your friend or somebody else you pay with, say, hey, um, do you want one of these stencils? We can get it together to save the money. All right. So I want to share with you first my tools. All right. So this is a perfect time of the year. Even I've had some, um, some husbands that said, okay, order your tools. I'm giving you that certificate. It's going out. That receipt's going to be in an envelope with a Christmas card to say, this is coming so you can start painting in January. All right. So I did skill builders after level two. Should have done it first. It would have helped you a lot. That's right. Because the skill builders, there's eight steps. So, so what we figured along the way is that mm, when people were financially, when we were in COVID and having hard times, we figured if we take and break down the certification as into small bites as like how to eat an elephant one bite at a time. So there's eight steps. So you could do one step at a time and purchase one step at a time. And so by doing that, it makes it so that you can afford it and be working on it as you go. All right. Do not slip, slip the UK, please. Don't slight the Okay, so what I want to share with you is that I have a tool set here, and these tools are some of the things um, ship. Do you ship to the UK? Absolutely, all the time. <laughs> we ship to almost every country that allows you to ship to. Our paint manufacturer can't do that anymore, but we do. And so it takes longer and it costs whatever it costs. And so, um, but we ship a lot to the UK. We used to have distributors over there, but uh, less and less distributors are willing to do that. So anyway, you can, especially when you get the good deals, that's when you need to do it. All right, so there's tools that I show you online and I just thought I'm gonna take a minute um, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to start sharing some things with you and I'm going to paint. So don't go away because we're going to paint um, something fun today. And I want you to, it's always, I'm always trying to educate you and share things that will help you. All right. So think about this. Think about, I, mean, I always talk about New Year's goals and what we do a lot on my Patreon channel is my husband and I do a podcast um, where um, a couple of weeks during the podcast, we are helping you figure out business wise, personal wise, how to grow your education, how to make money when you're doing that, how to price things, how to do the oversized canvas right there on Patreon with me. All of that is for a pledge of $20 a month. So you can pledge that or you can, you can also do a $10 a month where you're just mostly listening to us. Um, but some of the big painting projects, like when we painted this, I took three months to do it. So it ended up being $60 instead of a couple hundred dollars. And we did it very slow, one step at a time. And you got your patterns and everything. So you could go do your homework in between. That's one thing. And then the other thing on YouTube is I have for starting at $9.99 a month. So that's about $2.50 for each lesson. I do lessons that are for the season, the trends, whatever. And we do those like every Monday night. All right. And sometimes when I travel, I have to move a date, but that is $9.95 a month. And that's to become a one stroke advantage member on YouTube. All right. And so on YouTube, the advantage you get if you're a member is you always get 20% off each month that you stay on. You get a new coupon each month and that coupon lets you buy any amount of money. You get 20% off. So you don't want to miss that. That's really good for you too. And I help you grow your education. So think about this. You can start, get your tools, sit down and be ready to paint with me each time I do the free YouTube channel 
relax in pains and practice strokes. Now, so practice strokes, I want you to understand is those people out there, especially I know us from other countries when they go, ma'am, ma'am, tell me how to start this, where do I begin? And so the first thing I did, if you go back to the beginning, just go look for tools. And I teach you how to use all my beginner tools. So having, I have to tell you, I borrowed $5 from my sister at an art show to get my first water basin instead of using a little cup or a bowl because it would bend my bristles. And my sister said, my baby sister said, you need this. <laughs> so, I, you know, it's like a $5 basin, but you know what? It changed my world. So I started making my own basins. And then I put, uh, I, I came up and created this tool, which is a palette. And it's, uh, you notice it's all my green color and um, it holds a foam or paper plate. And so it's for a lefty or a righty and your fingers support you instead of your wrist. Cause I was painting so much. I didn't want anybody to get carpal tunnel. All right. So in here, I put my paper towels and I put a little floating medium or water in these little cubbies so that I always have it right there for me. If I'm standing at an easel or painting a wall. All right. So then I'm going to pinch this and take this out and I teach you all this on relax uh, on practice strokes and so practice strokes kind of like let me show you how to use this and go do this homework till next week when i show you something new but people tell me they're binging because they i've got so much to look through right hello from north carolina deborah i miss you all right so this is happy friday right the holidays are coming around the corner i've been going and teaching all kinds of parties and different adults uh communities and stuff and we're just having fun to hear testimonies where oh my gosh i did the little rosebuds with you and got stuck in covid for the next you know couple of years and i didn't think i'd really like painting and i got hooked but now i'm doing the dot painting and i've done all kinds of other crafts that have to do with painting and i just have to give you my testimony and she was just beaming so you know what it felt so good and i said i should feel bad that she didn't stay with the one stroke but she was right there taking a one stroke class um she just said i love that i just went out and did all kinds of stuff so that made me happy all right because I inspired her a little bit. Now, now this will also, this is the double loader. So I use this almost always on practice strokes because the hardest thing for you to learn with one stroke painting is the loading to double load. And I really show you a lot of that loading process on practice strokes. So just go look for loading. And if you're not, if you're getting it muddy, if you're getting it watery, if it doesn't look right, and you're saying it doesn't look like Donna's, I want you to go look at the practice strokes and watch the loading, okay? Because I go slower there so you can see it, all right? So what you're doing is you're putting two paints next to each other, and you're splitting the brush to load it right in between here. And then you come to another cubby and work it in. And the floating medium stays here. So it, we use that instead of water so it doesn't run all into your paint. All right. So now this also, now these people kept calling the office because they were confused because they got their palette and it was this, not this. Now this is a double loading palette. And this is also a palette. And I never thought that that would be a confusion, but it has been. So make sure you know, this will slide in here, drop in between those notches and spin. All right. Now you can't put the lid on this when it's in here. But what's wonderful is you have this all ready for you then. So you can stand at the easel or whatever. Then this lid, if you want to save that paint, like you're painting your project like I just was and I had to run out and do something for my husband, then I can put this lid on it, dampen the sponge so it goes, the moisture will stay there. You can put a copper penny in here. I had a sweet little 90 year old tell me that. And she said it keeps it from getting a must, musty smell. And then, but I don't know how much coppers and pennies anymore. Then you close this up. And that is how you're going to store your paint so it lasts for another week or so, okay? Now, I have had some of my teachers say that they went 30 days 
I never went 30 days because I use it before then. All right. So, so you match these up, you click it, hear that? And you click it all the way around so that you are all ready to, for that paint. All right. So those are the things I showed you. We need a bigger basin because we're doing bigger brushes. Okay. This one rests the water so that it doesn't bend in the bottom of it. And this one cleans. Hear that? you got to clean the paint out of the ferrule because that's what messes up your chisel. And we want a really crisp chisel. All right. So, so that's a couple of things I wanted you to know. All right. Then the second thing. All right. So most important, you have to have paint. And we use multi-surface paint. And we always have specials. You can go pick out my most used colors. And we have little sets that you can get of paints. And we have 72 paints you can get because I've had to help fill those up. All right. But I want to share with you, these are my all-time Donna Dewberry brushes. 10 most used brush brushes. This is a value pack. This is less than $20. And then you get 20% off. These are... Um, my go-to green brushes. Everything is green. See that? So I want you to know that for less than $20, you have the right brushes instead of a craft brush. And that's what's going to make painting easy for you. You found me, Lee. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> Some of these people have been on with me for three days because um, I've had been teaching classes and stuff. Actually, I was going to bring in my painting and show you what I did last night. We had a secret class and that it was a class where people had no clue what I was teaching. And so you have to look at my Facebook and see them. Um, they had no clue and they had to guess as we went along. What do you think we're painting? And they just said, this is so much fun. So I, ha I had 30 or 40 people sign up for that. So it was fun. It was kind of like doing this and teaching you backgrounds. So think about this. When you're looking at my painting, look at the backgrounds. And then look, this has texture, texture. And I used paste inside my paint. All right. I just mixed it. All of that I teach you on practice strokes. So you just have to sit there and look for what you're lo looking to find on how, excuse me, how to do that. And then I show you how to do this little bumblebee. All right. So let me tell you one more time. I'm going to keep telling you because we keep getting those people on. All right. This is what you do to get the 20% off right now is you go to onestroke.com and you find what you want. And then you go and you hit nine. 12, 20 in the, um, when you're checking out. So then you have to enter that. So it's like, um, apply or enter, just click something before you go pay, because I can't fix it after you pay. It doesn't come to me. That's what people don't understand. They, they say, fix that. This is your site. And I said, no, <laughs> it's not. Um, I'm not the one who takes the money. I'm just trying to tell you that up front. All right, so what I left it this. Okay, so now what I want you to know is that this is 20% off anything that's any order that hits $50 or more. All right, so you could do multiple orders to get the best deal on it. And they are till midnight the 20th. And is that all I need to say? Enter code. Yes. So Mark extended that so that y'all can get prepared for January. And we've been really talking with all of our uh, Patreon followers about right now, our tradition should be what it, not just cleaning the house and being fresh and putting up Christmas decorations, putting them away, but our goal should be, what do I want to learn this year? What am I excited about growing and uh, achieving and if you've had any goal that you want to learn how to be creative and paint i would love for you to come try some of my lessons they're all free on the the, the the wednesdays and fridays are all free every week and then we have the 
one stroke advantage. And so there's lots for you to look into, but it, on my website is all the education. If you want to become a teacher, if you just want to get, if you want to learn how to draw your own designs and you cannot draw, I can teach you how to do that. And there's different steps that you can do, learning how to draw and design your own paintings, no matter what style of painting you do. Um, so I do watercolor looks, I do landscape looks, and there's all, and like we did parrots. <laughs> Where was it? So this, I'm going to show you my packets later, but here's a parrot that I've done with teenagers, adults that I like, and there's a packet to make it happen. So that kind of stuff's on my website too. So you can always take the lesson or you can say, no, I want the packet right in front of me. And you practice right on my strokes, right on top of this plastic, wipe it off and practice again. All right. So let me, let me share the next set of brushes. And these are, I don't know how many we have left of these, but we have uh, bought out everything that the manufacturer had uh, through December. They, they are going to have to get more in. I'm slowly building up my stencils, so many to choose from. I know, Kathy, isn't that fun? Well, when there's a 20% off, that's the best way to do it. Um, and thank you so much for the support. Now, those were my 10 most used brushes, the value pack, right? And um, the one thing I tell people, and you're, and it's like I'm trying to sell you more, but it's true, but I am selling you more. <laughs> All right. So what you do is when we're painting and we've loaded this brush and we have this brush ready for flowers, right? Where, where did I just put that? Here. Here's a perfect example. Okay. So I painted all the green, but I still want to paint some more green. And so I don't want to clean out all the paint I just loaded because we loaded a lot of paint. We use a lot of paint. So then I take the second three quarter and I load it with the flower colors and put those in there. And so having two of that size, or if you're painting with your kids or your friends, having double brushes, those brushes are amazing. Other brushes cannot compare. They can't because I made these brushes and no matter, I've said this live in front of everybody many times, so people could knock me off, but they still don't get it. That my brushes are longer, usually a little thicker. And when I push down and wiggle, look what happens. The minute I start lifting, they spring. So it's got enough um whatever it's called in it <laughs> they're they're they've got enough oh, there's a word for it <laughs> that that it springs and comes right up to the chisel so each brush i've created in a way that's going to make painting easier for you but then this is a night nice, good better best those are good those are better but my very best ones are these and these are my first, um, we made these a couple of years ago. These are my first more pro brushes. These are my signature brushes. They have the lavenders and white, even the guys like the lavender. And then the floral is a wrap and we wrapped all of the specialty brushes. Now I created these scruffy brushes. Those are the only natural hair brushes I have. And those scruffy brushes that's not sure. True, I have Paula McCoy's making me some brushes also that have some natural hair. But um, these are my scruffy brush. So I have three sizes of those. Now I have, which I don't have in the other 10 piece set. This is 13 brushes. So I have a round, an angle of filbert. And you're probably going to have no idea what that means. And I didn't either. But what I do on practice strokes is each brush, I, I go, okay, let's use this brush. I'm going to show you what you do with this and how you load this brush and how you clean this brush. Because somebody just went on our site, on our Facebook group, said, somebody tell me how to clean that scruffy brush. It's all right there on the YouTube site. All right. So I mostly work with flat brushes and then I have liners and then I have a rake and a fan brush. So instead of buying them all separate, um, there is a 16 in here. Also, the only brush that you really, really get upset if you don't have in here is people are in love with my 16 flat. You brushes have enough resistance to spring back. That's what it is, Cheryl. Thank you, <laughs> Sherry. Thanks for helping me say it right. All right. When I talk a lot, it's hard to remember everything that I need to say, but I appreciate that. Okay. So now what I want to show you is 
We'll, we'll go back to the packets and all in just a minute. But And I'm going to paint for y'all today. So I know you might give up on me, but I am. Last night class was amazing trying to finish my painting today. I want to see it. And Cheryl won $100 last night. $100 off education. How fun is that? Uh, I think it was you. If I didn't, if it wasn't you, I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, so, well, so cool to find you this morning. Oh, thank you. During the season, sometimes we just, I have noticed that I've just kind of sit back and said, honey, I just went and sat for an hour today. And then the next day I went, I sat for an hour today too. And when I went to the studio, we have a brand new, our first great grandchild. And she was eight weeks early. So she's still now only five pounds. And I sat there and just hold this little baby. She fits right there, that teeny. Um, so Alani, love. And she's given lots of love to our family. All right. So I want to tell you a couple of things. You want paint on fabric? You can use the same paint that I'm using, which goes on everything else. This is folk art multi-surface paint. So indoor, outdoor, glass, metal, ceramic, canvas, paper, everything. All right. So textile medium is what you would use. So I load my brush, dip it in the textile medium, work it in and paint on my shirts. All right. Or pillows or aprons. OK. And I did a lot of custom for a lot of years. I matched their capris to their shoes, all kinds of fun things. So textile medium comes in an eight ounce bottle, all purpose sealer. Now there's a sealer inside that paint. There's a sealer inside that paint. I'm showing you things that you want to throw in there when you're getting the deal. OK, the 20 percent off. All right. So this is an all purpose sealer. Now we have different ones. So I want you to look. I don't like gloss except during the holidays. I so I coat things with gloss, but I usually like satin. And I usually like if I'm really worried about it staying really well, I use the outdoor sealer and either a satin or a gloss so that I feel like it's stronger. Like if I'm doing a, I take a um, vinyl flooring, I paint a rug on the back side of the inexpensive vinyl flooring and I cut it out to fit where I want it to go. And I base coat the back of it, paint my design on it. And I've had it in catalogs and all kinds of things um, where they show my, my rugs. And then I put a really good outdoor sealer on it, okay? Brush Plus. Now, you want to keep all of your brushes in really good shape. You need the Brush Plus, and it's better than Dawn dish soap or whatever, because that will loosen the glue in the bristles. This is really good for conditioning the brushes and keeping them good still. All right. How many of you have laid a brush out and I got it totally dry? I still do it. Okay. So I get Murphy soap oil from Walmart. The big jug's $3. I take a solo cup and I just let enough of it get in there just to get the bristles. They can be hard as a rock. I leave it overnight and then I take my fingernail and kind of scrape it out. And it is, you can take it totally clean. I know some people use Awesome from the Dollar Tree, but I love the Murphy soap oil because it's got like an oil or whatever and it kind of doesn't destroy the brush. We need a brush roll to store all. I know. I always had a clear one and another one that was my pretty fabric. And so, but I'm working on getting back in the retail stores so that I can have more of those products again. But that, thank you. I would, there's a lot of ladies that sew them for us. We had to check out some of those ladies that sew them. You used to have a large one. I have it. Yeah, I know. It rolled up all the brushes. It was really nice. So we do have um, a black zipper one that you can paint on the outside of for the long brushes that we have. I have the long brushes that I use, oversized ones that I use for that painting. And by the way, you can get those on there too and on our site. And then I have the shorter brush ones. And so sometimes I keep one type in each one of the, the brush zipper cases, but we do sell those. So go check them out on there. Okay. Uh, and so, am I showing you too much? <laughs> All right, we have more people, so I'm going to get ready to paint in just a minute. But um, I want to share with you what a packet is. All right, so I have a stencil. Where is the stencil? One of my most popular packets 
a couple of things I'll show you. A really popular pa uh, packet is doing an oversized flower on a 16 by 20. So you're getting you ready so you could do, you know, could y'all see that up there? This is a 40 by 60, big, big, big canvas. And you could do that with me on, on um, Patreon. All right. So look how big. So there's the big strokes. Now you're going to put it in the plastic sleeve. The full size patterns are in here also. And the step outs like this. And then you're going to load the brush and you're going to practice. So I'm going to show you that we come down one, two, three, and we wipe it off with a wet paper towel and we stroke again. So we get all these strokes in there. Then we come back and we start, we grab white across the whole brush and we go right into that while it's, while it's wet. And then you do the front ones. All right. So the stamens and all will go, this will go right here in the middle. All right. So there we are. Can you see? So this, there's all kinds of packets with patterns. And lots of times these are online classes right on my website too that you can download. All right. We just got through with this one. He's got, this is a bigger packet. So we, you can go on auto ship where you automatically get my brand new hottest um, projects. You would get them before anybody else gets them. And those are, uh, it's called auto ship. So you email our office and Amanda will send you a form and you fill it out. And that's what all of our teachers do is they do the auto ship with us. So they're ahead of everybody else. Okay. So what I want to show you is this jar stencil. All right. So what I told you is the most, um, the most popular packets I have is I've got like six of them, I think. And what they do is it's like a shelf of all kinds of jars full of flowers. All right. So I've done all kinds. I've done fall ones. And oh my gosh, I want to do the oversized, but do I need larger brushes? No. So, um, so we use, let me show you really quick. This oversized behind me. You can start on Patreon and do that with me, like I said, and it's a good intro. What we do is half that size on Patreon, and then after you feel comfortable with that, you just go do the big, big one, okay? I was thinking the same thing. Okay, so I've got these. They're green handles, but this is not the great, beautiful one I used to have, but this will do all the strokes to make that happen, just like that flower I showed you, but this is the set that I have, I think it's 1995, but then you get 20% off. And this is, this is called, uh, what do we call them? You just have to look for them. They are my folk art one stroke brushes. I guess they're not, there's five. Okay. Right. Yeah. There's five. So this is a really nice big one. And this is a quality, nice chisel edge. So we use that a lot. And then we have the fan brush, the liner, and this for the little painting that we do. Okay. So this set, and it's like $19.95 when you look on there. I'm almost positive. And you are getting 20% off that. Okay. So I wanted you to see that. Or there's the two brush set for $10. If you and you can use the other value pack brushes um, with these two. Um, here they are, I think. No, that's just, they come in a package of two like this. And these are like $10. But this one, when you're doing an oversize, you got the handle to stand back and you can get all the strokes that you're going to do and see what it's turning out to be. And that's my two cents on that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So those are on there. And um, then I tell you which paints to use. And we broke it down to three sessions. Now it's not three separate months now, so let me make it make, let me make it clear for you. I did one third of it during the first month that I showed this. So this was beginning of Patreon, so it's all there still. If you sign up for Patreon, you get everything in the past, right? So the second week, I had everybody trace it out, make with the chalk with me. We did it all slow, so slow, slow. Everybody finished it when I finished it. And then I said, now in between, go fill this out until we come next month. 
So they had a month to get everything ready to come back. So it's up to you. You can finish it in a week or a week and a half, two weeks, or you could break it up like I did. All right. Doing murals on walls. Be great for doing murals on walls. Yes. So anyway, that's what that is. All right. So let me share with you. Uh, I'm getting sidetracked here. I am going to paint, believe it or not. So you have the plastic sleeve. Remember, you're painting on the strokes. For instance, this is in here. All right. This is one of your sheets. And I have some of the aerosolum too. So you're going to stroke all this right on top of here and practice those strokes with me. All right. So the stencil helps you because everybody would get one size right and not the other side. So this is what I want you to see. I use this for a snow globe. See this right here? If you want your mason jar to come way out here and you want it taller, you just do one side, slide it over, do the other side, slide it down and do the bottom, okay? To get all the sizes you want. So I want you to see that I use that round vase, all right, to make that snow globe with it, all right? So it makes it really simple. So my idea for stencils are they're like patterns quick and easy and you don't have to be perfect but let's look really quick at this packet all right so like i said i have christmas ones fall ones really rich jewel tone color ones so i'm taking here's your background and we put the see-through floating medium watercolor look steps to get that water line in there Okay, then you started with your stems and they're really close up step by steps and every step on the way to do these I did with you. See, you can see through them. So you see the, the wall back there. You see how to make this still watercolor look and transparent, how to get the glare on there. And then we start with all our different kinds of greenery. So if this is in the sleeve, you're trying to paint those right there with me. Actual size on some of those. All right, baby's breath. All right, so glad I, I got called back to work. <laughs> all right, so look. All right, so all the steps. Now, I'm just saying, these are so fun because what you're getting in it as you're getting every one of these, like there's one vase. Oh, see the arrows and the lines to follow to do that rose that I just showed you. All right. And different perfume bottles. All right. And then you get the full picture there. All right. So even if you just painted this on a project or this over here on a project, look how many different ones that you learn in one packet. And then the best part is I print it out for you on um, 17 by 11, full size patterns for the 16 by 20 project, all right? And it's got everything there for you. And on the back on all the packets. So if you're looking at packets, lots of people go water packets, worksheet packs and, and um, packets, okay? So look, there is all the paint colors the brushes and everything you need to get started and what size canvas. So when, you, when you're looking at them, we have a lot of them, a lot of packets on the website. So when you're looking for them through those, that's exactly what you're going to get. Usually my full size step-by-step uh, -step that you can work on. All right. So, okay. Then last little thing here before I start painting is I have a kit that I want to show you that we still have them in stock, ready to ship out right now. You are crazy, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, so here's the other one I was, I showed you the bumblebee that in a real, uh, with real colors, but I want you to see any of these stencils like this bee one, it was my most sell, sold one because everybody bought it just for the bee but we have a large and a small bee and then we have the big bumblebee, but you could put the bee and then put the kind. And I put kinds in humble and kind. Um, you need to be kind to your family <laughs> and you be grateful. All right. So I would just want you to see that we rainbow those or um, ombre those. And when you look at this, I'm going to be doing a stencil for you in just a second. I want you to see that these are my new brushes. Um, Paula McCoy is one of my dear friends. She came up with it. I said, this is what I really want. I want mop brushes. 
and we use water and make it watercolor really fun i want stencil brushes look how big this one is you get all three in the set a 12 a 16 and a 20 i made she made that set for me and then i have these little rake brushes so that you can do little teeny um like animals and gnomes with uh, santas with little mustaches but anyway so it makes look how smooth it makes us Anybody who's out there has been using these other stencil brushes that are really stiff. These little brushes here, they're really stiff and they go under your stencil. So look how perfect. Look at that. So people who can't do stenciling are doing wonderful jobs with this, with the stencil brushes as I'm showing them. Okay. Another fun one is if you ever wanted to do a bird, I did the little branch with birds for this vintage thing that we did. And then you can just do the bigger one and just have these little, this guy even makes a cute parrot with a longer tail. But see, you know where the cheek is, where the beak is, where the wing is, where the tail is. So it makes it real easy as a template. Okay. I talked a lot. <laughs> All right. I'm almost through. And um, I just told them earlier, so I want you to see, look at this. If you go, and this was this last week, and can you see I put diamond dust on it? And he's just a fun little painting. But I use the mop brushes for the background. And then just accomplishing all this is really a fun little project to do. Okay, so how would you like to have reusable guides? Okay. So the reusable guides, I put in mine in a little notebook that I got at Walmart, okay? But I want you to see they're half sheets instead of full laminated sheets, all right? So then I put them in here and organize them so I can just go through and find whatever. On the back, it shows you the step-by-step -step actual, my stroke actually stroked right here, full size. So it's like me stroking it with you. And this is called the A to Z of what's your painting. So if you're out there and you haven't tried my painting with me, I'm grateful that I found you. I never thought I could paint. And I'm just beginning, but I'm painting some beautiful things with you. Yay! That's awesome. That makes me really happy, guys. Okay, so those brushes are amazing. All right, so let me show you that this is a killer kit for that beginner out there i think it's like 63 something but you get 20 percent off so that's a cool deal so you're gonna get everything but the surface but i'm giving you one surface all right so what you're gonna do with those those um laminated guys i was just showing you they come right here I didn't want to confuse you you do not get that notebook i bought that notebook just so i could flip through them easy okay but there's 50 of them so you get this surface and it's a storage box okay and the storage box holds your brushes and holds the a to z of one stroke floral painting 50 50. so the best part of this is um what did kim say all right all right, so look, you're going to get all of these guides, 50, A to Z, all right, different roses, different flowers. I even painted on my box that the paint company has. I painted it white, and I painted them just like that on the whole front of the box. And I painted all blue and white on one. I painted all kinds of them. So let me share something with you. You get all 50, and that's like you could do two a week two flowers a week and to and have 25 weeks, you've got 50 flowers learned. All right. So then these are brand new brushes and no, you can't buy them any other way. These are the high quality brushes and I had bigger handles because I sometimes with arthritis and whatever, just like kids, it's easier to hold a bigger handle and you'll be surprised. It's a nice comfortable fit. It's a three quarter and an angle and um a 12 and a scruffy and these are the oh there's a script liner right here there's a script liner in there i lost it all right so you have all of those that store in here and so you have your brushes your guides you have 10 paints full bottled multi-surface paints 
And one of these is the floating medium that we use. And I'm going to be showing you that. All right. So you get all of that. And guess what? Not only that, you get, you can go on YouTube and with Donna Dewberry with Plaid, the paint company, and every one of these lessons are free on YouTube on their site. So Donna Dewberry will, uh, with Plaid Enterprise, so it's Plaid on YouTube. I have all 50 lessons filmed. They're short tutorials, so you can paint that real quick with me. And I use the double loader in each one of them. I use those brushes in each one of them and all the paints. Okay, I put some on double-sided here. All right, so that set, if you do nothing else for yourself, is get that set. Even people who have been painting with me or teachers or whatever, they have got the set because they wanted the brushes. All 50 of those flowers, you can teach people those flowers. And, um, and while you're trying to raise some money to become certified. So there's a lot of, all kinds of benefits in that A to Z paint. And it's in stock and they're shipping them out. We shipped it out a ton yesterday. You are right about those brushes in the A to Z. I have rheumatoid arthritis and those brushes really help. I started getting arthritis in my knuckle on my thumb knuckle and I went, oh my gosh, it's so much easier. I must run, but I share this toy. So thank you so much. Well, when you get a chance, come back and watch my painting that I'm going to do. Okay. All right. So I put that to the side and I'm actually going to paint now. So have you given up on me yet? <laughs> All right. So let's get some paper. All right. So I'm tired of using black because the lights are shining and not making it look good. <clears throat> I had a hard time yesterday with two projects with black background because it glared in the light. <coughs> okay, so we're going to come down. Thank you. Thank you for staying here. I'm just going to tell you one more time, maybe more than one more time. Be sure that you get this discount. I felt I wanted to tell you to screenshot it. Now I don't know where I put it. Here it is. All right. Okay, it's 9, 10, 20. I have no idea, guys. <laughs> All right. I showed it a few times, so be sure. Oh, here it is. All right. And this might be this upside down. Okay, I'm going to paint a fun little project today. All right, so here we are. Uh, it's reversed. So there we go. So go to onestroke.com and check out all the stuff I just shared with you. It's 10, 12, 20. And it's good till midnight, the 20th of December, we extended this special. All right. All right. So now what I want to share with you is we are going to do some fun little stenciling on here. I'm actually going to use a couple of these. I'm going to get some colors that I'd like on here. Um, I like metallic um, sometimes for this background. And we have all kinds of glitter and stuff here. So one thing I like to do is, see, I like to use the lid. That's rose gold. I'm going to get a paper towel because when you're doing the stenciling, you want, to, this is my pair of stencils, one, a, a pretty popular one. All right. So I'm going to dip into that is kind of thick so i'm going to move it around they're not all thick i've just had that one around for a while and then i'm kind of taking off some of it because i want it to go in here really nice all right so i'm going i don't know how much this is going to show so i'm going to lift it to see oh it's going to be there all right i did this on black and it looks really fabulous but it glares with see i keep rubbing it off it glares on the can on the lights here in the studio so i'm sorry i just decided i don't have the energy to fight it today 
All right. So I hope I inspired you a little bit. I want you to think about what would you like to learn and make a goal for yourself. And while you've got this discount, this is a great time to go try getting some of the things that you might want for that, um, that process. Okay. All right. So you can just literally do this 12 by 12. Um, I put a moth. I put a dragonfly in my stencil. All right. See these. The, what? Let me show you. You want to go left and right. Left and right. Because then you get into every little divot. Okay. So this says dewberry. You might not want dewberry, but it can be. There's a Dewberry Plantation, a Dewberry Fancy Hotel. <laughs> There's all kinds of... This is Bell. You can move this around. I'm just showing, sharing with you. And But they're not this Dewberry. <laughs> it's not us. <laughs> I just want you know, my, my daughter went up to Savannah and said, Oh my gosh, this is amazing hotel. All right. So what happens is this, this gives you a really nice background. Okay. Um, why did everything go blue? Huh. Okay. So now, now I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And I can turn, like I can turn the vintage a different way. Okay. And it dries pretty quick on, on fabric and like I use the stencils and just take this whole stencil just like it is and put it on a darker shirt with metallics. Oh my gosh. It, I wear it and put my flowers around it and people just, oh, did you make that? <laughs> All right. So, so we can also come in here anywhere and just place the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so I can put um, a little bit of Juneberry. Now that's a rose gold, so I'm just put a little bit of color in here. Okay, so let's pick up this, work it in, pick up some rose gold, put it in there. It gives you a nice pretty color. And I'm doing a little bit of color. Okay, I worked hard to get that stencil. See all the detail? I have an amazing assistant who makes me look really good, too. Because <laughs> she works really hard to get all this detail we want. Okay. Left, right. Okay, we're going to come in here. Now, I got a little bit darker as I went down. So I right, oh, rub it off. Come back in here. So think about this. The fabric and the paper sucks it up. So if you're on something that's kind of shiny and like a watering can or a glass, this is going to kind of beat up. So what you want to do is know that you have to make sure that you really wipe off a lot if you're on one of those surfaces that's not porous, non-porous. If you're on the fabric, I'm telling you, you just stencil this right here on your shirt and it'll look like a professional shirt. Like you purchased it. It looks really cool. Okay. I can't even read because it's weird. It's all blue now. All right. I practice uh, press and sell a lot of things by practicing placing it. It's good enough to frame. So I stick my painting in cabinets until I decide what I want to do with them. <laughs> I very new beginners tried the wax paper, yeah, and freezer paper. Uh, move to the paper with floating medium and it will save you money. That's cool. Okay, so see what that looks like. And over here, I thought I had something over here. I guess I don't. All right. I can come over here. We're going to do some flowers, so it's okay, but all right, just put a little bit over there. 
all right so <clears throat> when you're washing this brush you go like that across the rake you don't go back and forth and then hear me i pulled it down pull it down pull it down and turn the brush then i come here and i work all the paint out of that brush and have it ready for the next time i use it okay so let's look there's some pretty colors we can use we can use Juneberry, this blue peacock. We're going to use some white. I just found some more white paint. I don't know where to put it. I go through so much paint. I have to buy those eight ounce ones. And there we go. But guess what? I get my paint. <laughs> I don't have to go look for it. All right, I'm blessed. Okay, so let's get a sap green. There we go. All right, now I want to show you how we use that floating medium, guys. So I tap these out, and then I'm going to put floating medium in here. I tap it out so I can get all around to the edges. But if you're in your double loader, they're next to each other. It looks really nice. All right, sometimes I practice on oh, some press itself. Yeah. All right. So this is just a background, but just imagine this on, on a t-shirt. Okay, it's got all this pretty work. And now we want to come in <clears throat> with our three-quarter flat and my two flats here. I love paint and I'm there. Wood. Okay, and this was a specialty on the shopping channel. <laughs> So I don't have these brushes, so I shouldn't use it. I'm sorry. Oh, here's one. I'll be good. This is my green handle, my Donna Dewberry brushes. All right. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to pick up, and I'm going to go in between the two colors. I'm going to pick up some medium, pick up some white. Look. All right. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, so I'm going to come out here, and I need medium in it. So look, put medium, even though it looks like it's a ton of paint. I want that edge to look good. I'm going to dip just the edge again. There you go. See, it should feel like butter. Are you with me? I want it to feel like butter when I'm stroking it. And we pull the stem right in the middle. All right. Now, I'm going to get more floating medium. And I want to come in here. And you can go down and then come back up. You can see when it's dry. So, look, down. This paper is incredibly dry. And then come back up and pull the stem. All right. <clears throat> So I can, the other good thing is I want you to see that I'm going to come right up here. And I can come back from there and pull a stem into there. Okay. Now look, I can put a little bit of Juneberry in here. Okay. No, it doesn't have enough Juneberry in it. Let's go back over here. I'm trying to protect that Paris. There we go. All right, a little bit. You just a little bit of pink in it. All right. Now, I'm going to wash. Remember I told you? Now you had to wash all that paint off. But I might want to use that green again. And I'd have to reload it again. All right. So I'm going to pick up white and Juneberry. 
Okay, now when you're double loading, you dip, dip, work it in, or have it next to each other in the palette. And you can just pick that up and go to a second cubby and work it in. And I can work it in till I get really dark all the way to a light. All right, then I dip right into the medium, which is in the middle of your palette. And then I'm going to come right here and do a really pretty color. All right. Look, I need to pick up more white. Wet on the wet. You don't have to let anything dry. That confuses people. I just pick up more paint. And then I go right back over that. See? Now your key to loading is you want to make sure that you have the same color of paint all the way around as you're stroking. All right. So you don't want one, one color, one another. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to come right here and let's do right in here and go inside that center. See that? Come right here along that line and let's pick up another white. All right, and this is all with that large brush, right? Okay, so look, I'm going to come right here, pick up some more white, and we're going to come right there, and we're going to come across. Now, right here, oops, I just got green or blue on here. We don't want to do that. Okay, so you touch that line, you lean out, and you slice across. Now, see, I lost my color, so I come back and get more white. Okay. And more white. Okay. So there we have our rose. And I, I don't want to be there, but I can come right here. Now, think about this on the shirt. How pretty would this be? A sweatshirt or a t-shirt. And especially on those dark colors where the metallic shows really good. All right. Now I'm going to pick up some blue. I didn't clean my brush out, but that's okay. I'm going to come here. And I'm going to come right in here. Just do a side view with this blue. We could use it as smaller. I'm going to put some green. Remember I said we have to come back and do some green. All right. And so we're going to come right in here and put some blue. All right, a little bit of bud. Does that look fun? This is blue peacock, and I left some of that pink in there. All right, so we just have to come back in there and get some green. See, the more I push down, see, I'm picking up the pink. All right. Now, let's pick up a 12. And I'm going to pick up the citrus and the sap again. I'm going to come right in here. Actually, I can do all sap right there. So that stands out more. I appreciate you guys being on with me today.
trying to catch some people at lunch, but who knows? I was on way too long. This is when Mark said, you stay on too long. <laughs> All right. So look, we're going to come right in here and just hit the base of these flowers. All right, you can also take that rose gold and make some leaves. Okay. Same thing. You can take and wander some of them around. You can just put blue leaves with citrus. Or you can use gold. So we're going to bring some of those. There you go. All right. So we can do some curly cues. You like it? I'm glad you did come on. Thank you, Miss Kim. All right. So, so I used... Juneberry with the metallic gold and here this is rose gold and I don't know that we'd have a shirt that color but just imagine this on a dark black or gray and how fast so so it's not like we just stuck one cluster of flowers we have all that stencil background that gives you more you know so you have all that that's going to show on your pillow or your apron and then love it just gotta go make lunch all right love you guys hope um i appreciate the 50 thumbs up yay <laughs> all right until next time go save some money 20 percent. oh thanks for all the hearts i appreciate it love you guys bye bye